Hi, Frog Room friends. We're going to read a froggy book today. This book kind of reminds me of teachers Anna and Amanda because they have been out on their bikes this year. I have not yet. Uh, teacher Brady is not very good on a bike. She does this a lot when she's going boop, 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 crash. Uh, have you guys been out on your bike this year? I know some of our frog room friends uh, have been. Uh, you should definitely go outside though. It is a beautiful day today. So this book is Let's Go Froggy by Jonathan London. Jonathan London is the author. What does the author do? The author writes the words. The author writes the words. Hi ho the Dario. The author writes the words. What does the illustrator do? The illustrator draws. The illustrator draws. Hi ho the Dario. The illustrator draws. Very good. What part of the book is this? This is the front of the book. This is the the back of the book. This is the spine of the book. All together, this is the cover of the book and that protects the pages. Very good. And the pages are where the story is and the story is the best part. So we have to protect our pages. Very good. So we have Let's Go Froggy. Like I said, this looks like Froggy's going on a bike ride. All right. Let's hear what happens. Let's go, Froggy. It was warm. Froggy woke up and looked out the window. Birds, butterflies, flowers. Hooray, sang Froggy. I want to go out and play. Me too, Froggy. Okay, said his father. How about a bike trip and a picnic? Would you like that? Yes, cried Froggy. Let's go. First you have to get ready, silly, said his father. Okay, said Froggy. I'm getting ready. So Froggy got dressed. He pulled on his underwear. Zap! Pulled on his shorts. Zip! Pulled on his socks. Zoop! Pulled on his sneakers, zup, and buttoned up his shirt, zut, zut, zut. Called his father, let's go. I'm ready, yelled Froggy. Show him, flop, 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 flop. Froggy, said his father, you need your bicycle helmet. I don't know where it is, said Froggy. It's where you left it. I forget. You have to look for it. Have you heard that one before? I've heard that one before. So Froggy looked for his helmet. He looked under the sink. Bunk. He looked in the fridge. Slam. He looked in his toy chest. I found it, yelled Froggy and put it on with a slap. Zap! Froggy! called his father. Let's go! I'm ready! yelled Froggy. Flop, flop, flop. You should bring your butterfly net, said his father. I don't know where it is. It's wherever you left it. So Froggy looked for his butterfly net. He looked under the coffee table, bunk. He looked in the garbage can, slam. He looked in his father's golf bag. I found it, yelled Froggy, and swung it at a fly. Swish, but missed. Froggy, called his father. Let's go. I'm ready, yelled Froggy. Flop, flop, flop. How about the ball Grandpa gave you? Asked his father. I don't know where it is. 
It's wherever you left it. So Froggy looked for his ball. He looked under the stove. Bonk. He looked in the cookie jar. Slam. He looked in the bathtub. I found it, he yelled, and kicked it in the goldfish bowl. Splash. Froggy, called his father. Let's go. I'm ready, yelled Froggy. Flop, flop, flop. <coughs> Let's bring the bag of peaches Auntie Lulu gave you, said his father. I don't know where it is. It's wherever you left it. Does this, is this what it sounds like at your house when you're trying to leave? This is what it sounds like at my house when we're trying to leave. So Froggy looked for the bag of peaches. He looked under the kitchen table. Bonk. He looked in his closet. Slam. He looked in his bed. I found it, yelled Froggy <laughs> and took a bite. Scrunch. He was getting kind of hungry. <coughs> Froggy called his father. Let's go. I'm ready, yelled Froggy. Flop, flop, flop. Daddy, can I bring that pack of trading cards Uncle Gerard gave me? Okay, Froggy, but hurry, let's go. I don't know where it is. It's wherever you left it. Oops, here it is. I found it. It was in my pocket. Can we go now, Daddy? I'm ready. Okay, but do you know where my red backpack is? Asked his father. Daddy, it's wherever you left it. I forget. Froggy pointed. It's on your back. Froggy laughed. Oops, cried Froggy's father, looking more red in the face than green. Ready to go at last, Froggy flopped over to the bicycle. Flop, flop, flop. Let's go, Froggy, said his father. I'm hungry, said Froggy. I want to eat now. So they ate their picnic on the patio. Munch, scrunch, munch. Okay, I'm ready, said Froggy. Let's go, said his father. And off they pedaled into the sunset. Whee! That story was fun. The story was funny. I like to read that one. There were lots of fun sound effects, like scrunch, munch. Those are what we call onomatopoeia. Isn't that a silly word? Onomatopoeia? That's a word that means words that sound like what they are, like bam, or slam, or pow, bang. That's onomatopoeia. Can you repeat after me? Onomatopoeia. Very good. That's a silly word. All right. Well, thanks for listening to the story and learning with me. I'll see you later, Frog Room friends.